we can still use conservation of linear momentum and the fact that impulse is equal to change in momentum when the information is given in vector notation. In this example, we can use the fact that impulse is equal to the magnitude of the force times time to work out the impulse, and then use the fact that impulse is change in momentum to be able to work out the required velocity of the particle. And in this example, we can use impulse is equal to change in momentum to enable us to find the initial velocity of the object. We can find the impulse by using the fact that impulse is equal to change in momentum. As the impulse is in vector notation, we can easily find out both its magnitude and the direction it's acting in. We can apply conservation of linear momentum, even though the information is in vector notation, and just remember that the word coalesce means that they've joined together after the collision.